Well, hello YouTube, Veteran Outdoorsman here today. We're going to talk today about things that you should have in your vehicle on a daily basis. Now, some of these things are a little more important than others, and there's no particular order in how I'm going to make this list, but you get an idea of things you should have in case of emergencies, things you should have just for everyday travels and whatnot. And so we start putting these things together. Most of these items will fit behind the seat of your truck, under the seat, in the trunk of the car, without taking a whole lot of room, although the list is rather extensive. So let's start with some basic things. Um, jumper cables, everyone should have a set of jumper cables. Everyone should have some sort of a tool kit. Um, a small ratchet and screwdriver kit will, will suffice for this. At least a multi-tool, something like that, where you can Tighten terminals, um, little pair of pliers to pull out and change fuses, things like that. Um, a small box of, of various spare fuses is a great idea. Uh, a tire pump. Now an electric pump that, that goes into your uh, cigarette lighter is great and I certainly carry one of those. A manual pump is also a good idea. Um, if for some reason you're trying to save the juice in your battery or whatever, a tire pump is, is something you keep a couple of uh, needles with it as well, and you can use it to blow up basketballs or kids' toys, or whatever. But but um, you've got it in case you need it. Also a plug kit. Now the, the plugs, and when I say plugs, I'm talking the uh, the pieces of, of ropes basically that have glue and tar on them and you use a little tool and you put it down in the hole if you get a nail in your tire or something like that they're not typically recommended for highway use and whatever but if you find yourself out in the middle of nowhere you get a nail in your tire and you got to get somewhere to get it repaired they certainly work it's a good idea to have uh, the whole kit um, a full set of plugs rubber cement the little reamer and the, and the installation tool. It doesn't take just any room to throw them in your glove box, in your console, or whatever. Keep them in your vehicle at all times. It's a really good idea. Um, also, if you ha do have one of those electric pumps, a lot of the times they have a little compartment where you can put this thing. Uh, a knife of some sort. Um, anywhere from a small pocket knife, w what I would say it would be you know, a, a multi-tool would be great, like I mentioned earlier with the tool kit, but uh, a two, three inch small folding lockback knife is a good idea. Not too worried about a way to sharpen it, this isn't something you're going to use an awful lot, but uh, if you wanted to put a, a small sharpener of some sort, either, either a, a, a carbide type, just put in a drawback sharpener or a small wet stump, something like that, that that's up to you. Um, you're not talking about being gone for days and days, hopefully. But but a knife in your vehicle comes in handy. Um, some wire ties. You know, your some electrical tape. Those things come in handy. You're you're going down the road. One of your fasteners on the wire under the hood comes loose, rubs up against the pulley. All of a sudden, you've lost power to something. Get out your electrical tape, get out your knife, cut the wire, re-splice it, put the tape around it, and you're back in business. You can zip tie it to, to hold it in place out of the way of the pulley or whatever it rubbed against your in business. Um, a pair or two of pantyhose. Now this may sound odd. Sure, you can use them like Joe Namath did to keep your legs warm <laughs> if you're cold, but no. If you're out somewhere and a belt breaks you can take a pair of pantyhose wrap them tight around the pulleys tie a knot in them trim the ends and this will work as a belt to get you down the road now they won't last very long but you're a few miles from a gas station something like that they, they can get you to a safe place where you can get towed, 
get help, get the proper repairs made. It may sound silly, but it's a good idea. A few bottles of water. Um, maybe even in, in, say, a small cooler or something in the winter so they don't melt. But you're in your car, so they don't freeze, sorry. But you're in your car, you get a heater, you could thaw them out on the dash, whatever, if you have to. But a few bottles of water, I, I'd say um, a six pack of the of the small half of the small bottles um, would work just fine. But a source of water, maybe some sort of shelf stable food. Uh, people, this this is winter time. People get stranded all the time in winter. They they don't see the sign where the roads close. There was a movie a while back where a couple with a baby, and it was it was a true story. A couple with a baby had not seen the sign where the road was closed, and they veered off. This happened twenty some years ago. They veered off. The road hadn't been plowed or anything. They they made a long way. They finally got stuck. And they were stranded. And no one was coming because the road was closed. No one was going to look for them because the road was closed. They had a little bit of food. They had a few supplies. But they'd been a little better prepared. They, they survived. Had they been a little better prepared, they would have been more comfortable. Maybe um, maybe rescued faster. Um, you know, these days, everybody's got phones. A phone charger is a must in your vehicle. Because you get out in the middle of nowhere, they don't have cell phones like they did when I started driving. Not cell phones, sorry. They don't have pay phones on every corner like they did when I started driving. Where you just you'd keep a handful of change in your cup holder in case you needed to make a phone call. You need your cell phone on you. You need a charger. Um, even an extra battery pack that that's charged is also a good idea. Let's see, a blanket, that's always a good idea. Maybe two if you carry, keep passengers a lot, if, if, if people ride with you all the time. A couple of blankets is a good idea. For a few reasons. You may get stranded, you may need the extra warmth. You may be on a trip and your heater goes out. You know, things to think about. Keep, keep it in your lap, keep yourself warm, whatever. If you've got kids, <laughs> blankets are a must. They're going to be cold in the back seat, throw them a blanket. But there, there's some survival type scenarios that they may come in handy too. A tarp is always a good idea. Um, keep your carpets clean when you have to carry messy things for whatever. Um, can, if for some reason you were stranded overnight, make you make a makeshift shelter a tarp's a good thing to have some some sort of cordage I prefer paracord 550 cord um, I'd say at least 50 feet of that uh, some matches a cigarette lighter or something like that let's see what we've covered knives water um, some short sort of shelf stable food um, be it Heater meals, MREs, um, granola bars, candy bar, you know, payday bars, uh, jug of peanut butter, something like that, just some food. Again, this is winter time. You may be traveling out west, something like that. You may get stranded some. It's just something, something good to have. Uh, a jack. Most vehicles come with a jack. They come with a cheap little scissor jack. It works in a pinch. They're not very stable. They're not very safe. I prefer... You want to keep that in your vehicle, go ahead. It's a good secondary. It's a good... It makes a good jack stand. I prefer to get... And you can get them at Walmart. A small floor jack that you can put in the trunk, under the seat. Something along those lines. They usually come in a, in a nice little hard plastic case. And they're much easier, much safer. Um, keep, a, keep another jug of hydraulic oil just in case. 
you need to change a tire, something like that. It's much safer than the little scissor jacks that come with your car. Um, your car usually comes with some sort of a tire tool. Again, a chintzy little thing meant to, to stow away and not be used very often. You know, you can keep it. I usually ditch them. Get you a good tire iron, or better yet, a really good four-way tire tool. This will make your life a whole lot easier if you get a, if you need to change a tire. You need to uh, use your spare. Make your life a whole lot easier. Uh, some people will recommend to hide somewhere a spare set of keys. Yeah, somebody may find them, may steal your car. That's a personal thing. That's up to you. I prefer to hide um, a spare somewhere away from my vehicle. Um, on my person, around my house somewhere, something like that. Uh, and currently, I don't do that. I don't worry about it that much. I can usually find a way to get in my vehicle if I lock my keys in. Uh, some other things that may not be as important to you, but are just nice things to have, not necessarily necessities, but things that I generally keep in my vehicle. Um, a two-piece fishing rod. You say, okay, this isn't camping, this is... No, no. Um, but uh, me, for example, I'm taking my wife and my daughter um, on a vacation somewhere. Or just on a little road trip, we're going an hour or so away, and we're in a town, and they're, they're shopping or whatever, I get bored. I go across town to find a little park, do a little fishing. Okay, maybe in some sort of a survival scenario, may come in handy as well, but, you know, a small two-piece fishing pole, um, I prefer uh, medium action spinning rod about six six and a half foot in length you can do a lot of things i spool it with six pound line i keep some some small assortment of fishing lures hooks things like that you never know maybe visiting a buddy hey you know i got this pond down the road that we i'd really like to fish come on let's let's go well you get your pole with you not not a necessity but something nice to have in your vehicle uh you got kids, uh, some books to keep their interest, some small toys, things like that. It's always a good thing to have in your vehicle. A gun. A, I, I would prefer a 9mm or a 22, and I would say the ammo that comes with it and maybe 50 rounds. And by the ammo that comes with it, I mean some full magazines. And maybe 50 rounds to go along with it. Uh, certainly use a vehicle, use a firearm for self-defense. You end up stranded though. And you got to walk a long ways. That's going to make you feel a whole lot safer as well. Just a, a nice item to have. Um, I, and this is, since I was pretty young... A gun something that I've always had pretty nearby, you know, so certainly have a firearm in your vehicle of, of some sort, something that you can readily get to, something where ammo is easily available so you don't have to worry, hey, did I run out, this and that. Yeah, 9mm or twenty two are my recommendations. You may have some different opinions. You may have things that you prefer again these are my recommendations I have different experiences than you do so I'm going to make different recommendations if you have some other things that you would like to add put them in the comments below um, if you don't agree with something that I said put it in the comments below um, this this isn't this isn't a 
tell all, do all. This is just some opinions, some nice things to have. Also an atlas. Well, I've got a GPS. Okay, you get a GPS, spare batteries. Spare batteries. But an atlas, a small compass. Always good to have some AA and AAA batteries. Never know when you're going to need those. Lots of items use them. Um, a signal mirror. Well, you know, if I'm in a situation like that, I can break the mirror off my car. You're right. You can break off your rear view or, or, or whatever the case may be, and you can use that as a signal mirror. So that's not a real necessity, but it doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Uh, some road flares or triangles or both is always a good idea. A first aid kit is a good idea, and I'm not talking one of these little bitty first aid kits that you find, and it's got a couple of band-aids, and no. Those are fine, but a decent sized first aid kit uh, that has gauze, bandages, a little pair of, of uh, tweezers, you can put something like this together on your own too, some... Some latex gloves, tape, maybe something for a splint, some things like that. Because you you pull up on an accident, you're in an accident, and somebody needs some first aid before um, paramedics get there, or or you know you slip, you fall, you get cut, whatever, you know. More than just a band-aid. Hopefully you don't ever have to use it. I would say also a bottle of ibuprofen. Never know when you're going to need that. Uh, you got a headache, whatever. Something good to keep around. Keeping your medicine cabinet, keeping your glove box, keeping your boat, keeping your tackle box. It's cheap good thing to have if you take prescription meds and those meds are not temperature sensitive meaning that they have to stay in a certain environment such as the refrigerator keep one day's worth of prescription meds in your vehicle make that the last day you take of your prescription and when you renew your prescription put replace it with one day's worth of the fresh ones and then again that's the last day you take and then you've always in case you forget you know we've all done it we get up in the morning we're on our way somewhere we get an hour down the road I forgot to take my medicine well I don't have any daily meds I maybe take a spoonful of uh, of apple cider vinegar or something to help with my acid reflux that that's if if I miss that, that's not going to kill me. Some medications could. So having one day's worth of your of your meds in your vehicle, again, if they can withstand that environment, is a good idea. And it may save you. It may save your trip. Um, preferably, also, keep them in the original. Keep the day's worth in the original bottle. Because if you're out somewhere and you can't get your meds and you need your prescription refilled, it's got all the information on it. It's got your doctor's phone number and things like that. So I would put that one day's worth in an original bottle. You, you may think that that's something you don't need to do, but this is a very good idea. I've traveled with people that take medication. I've traveled with people that have missed their medication. I've seen the hassles they go through to try to get their meds. It's a good idea to have one day's worth. Again, the the last day, you pop those, you replace them with fresh, and you're good to go. Those are, are basic things on my list. Do I always have every book?
not a bad idea, an umbrella, something like they keep for people. I live in the Midwest. A nice scraper. Yes, I keep it year round in my vehicle because I don't want to forget it. I don't want to forget to throw it in there and then I need it. An ice scraper is always a good idea. Uh, a small jug of, you know, a coffee can, one of the little jugs you can buy, or whatever, of rock salt or ice melt or something along those lines is also a good idea. Never know when you're going to need something like that. A little bottle of ice melt that you can spray on your locks and things like that. Also a good idea. Small stuff. A quarter or two of motor oil. A quarter or two of transmission fluid. Um, some may say power steering fluid. You want to keep a bottle of that? Sure. In a pinch you can use the motor oil. Um, maybe brake fluid just in case. If you spring a brake leak though, you're probably not going to be able to fix it on the side of the road. But if you want fluid, things like that. If you've got room for a pre-mixed gallon of antifreeze, not a bad idea either, but if you've got water on you in a pinch it will work. Just make sure that you, you drain it at night if it's going to get below freezing and then get some antifreeze in your vehicle. So, the, these are things that could save your tail, not necessarily in an emergency, but maybe. But we all have little emergencies, you know, multiple times a year. And these things that can make it easier. If you have a flat tire, if you shed a belt, you your engine light comes on, on your, oil, your oil light, sorry, comes on, things like that, you can be prepared. You start hearing noise under your hood and something's a little bit loose, you've got some tools to tighten it up. You're out somewhere and a, and a sensor goes out, something like that, you know, you, you run to O'Reilly's, they check it, it's a little sensor, you go to a garage, they're going to charge you a hundred bucks just to change that twenty dollar sensor. You get some small tools you can change it yourself, change out your battery, things like that. Uh, you know, the Atlas, hey, you know, we're human, we get lost. Not a bad idea to keep an Atlas. Update it every, every year or so, get a new one, use the old one for fire starter in your barbecue pit, you're good to go. Uh, again, oh, I got a phone, I got a GPS. Well, you know what? Batteries die on those things. I have never had an Atlas run out of batteries. And I've used them extensively for long periods of time, and they have never run out of batteries. My compass has never run out of batteries. You know, if I use them long enough, maybe they will, but they've never run out. Along those lines, a flashlight. A good quality flashlight. If you get a pickup truck and you get some storage space, not only that, I would put um, some sort of a halogen light to plug into your cigarette lighter or a Q beam spotlight. Can be very handy for waving someone down in the dark if you're stranded, things like that. Being able to see. Um, when you're stranded, maybe uh, setting up some light to fix a vehicle, something like that. But also just a good quality flashlight. Uh, a, mag a small mag light, spare batteries like I mentioned earlier. Um, you can also go, and I wouldn't make this my primary light, but I would certainly have one and I do. You can go to Harbor Freight and other places like that and you can get these little LED lights that have magnets on them. And you get a change of tire or something, you stick it under the wheel well, and your work area is illuminated, and you can work. Little floor shop lights, halogen type lights that you can plug into your cigarette lighter are also really good. Again, a lot of these things I'm saying are going to take up a lot of space, 
but pick the ones that you think are the most necessary. Obviously, the jumper cables, the jack, the four-way, the tools, the water. Those things are going to be very important. Um, a vehicle, you have, uh, again, you have enough space. Uh, a winch is not a bad idea. Um, not a battery operated winch that you put on your truck, but if you got one, great. But just a small come along type winch that, that ratchets. I have been out in, in the middle of nowhere and slid off the road and in a ditch and I'm sitting there stuck for an hour, two hours, three hours waiting for someone to come by and pull me out. A winch may have made that easier. Not a bad idea. So, these are my thoughts, my opinions. Your mileage may vary. Let me know in the comments. God bless you and we'll talk to you later.